Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel. Today we're checking out Endeavor OS Gemini. My name's Jeremy, this channel's about tech, go figure. And today we're gonna to be looking at Endeavor OS Gemini. I love Endeavor OS. I haven't run it in a bit. It was on my Dell G15 laptop for a good bit and it's an arch-based distribution with a lot of flexibility as far as easily being able to install multiple desktop environments, window managers, a lot of tools to kind of get used to being in the terminal. It's a really great operating system, a really great distribution, and I just want to highlight it today. I want to go through, install it on a virtual machine, go through the install process, and see if it's for us, see if it's for you. So let's go ahead, get on the virtual machine, which I'm setting up with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 12 cores, and see if anything's changed from when I used it before. When you download the ISO of Endeavor OS Gemini, you put it on a virtual machine or put it on your USB drive and boot up in the live environment. This is what you're greeted with. They have moved to KDE for their base live environment. They used to do XFCE. Either is great. Endeavor OS really tries to help you get an Arch system set up with some nice tools. So if you're newer to Linux or just want to get your Arch system up quickly um, and are uncertain about a couple things and would like to work on a couple of options, this is a great place to start is Endeavor OS. They have this great welcome here that we will go through in a little bit, but what we're going to go ahead and do is start the installer, walk through the install process. I'd like to walk through that with everyone so that you can get a sense of what is going to be asked of you, what to expect when you go through and install it on your own system. Start the installer. We're going to do new online method or offline method. Today we're going to choose the online method because there's a lot of cool options with the online method. I'm in Southeast Asia right now, so it already, so it's like, well, if you're in Southeast Asia, obviously you're going to want to have Vietnamese, which is totally understandable, but I need it in American English. We're using the Colomaras installer. It sees that I am in Vietnam, but I always like setting it up like I'm back home, English US default from my keyboard layout. And here you can choose no desktop environment, KDE, GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, Budgie, LXQT, LXDE, and one window manager. I'm going to choose the Budgie desktop environment because I like it. I'm still interested in it, so I want to spend a little more time with it. This is where you can go ahead and see what packages you are going to go ahead and install. They have this recommended list here and you can remove whatever you don't want. I would caution you against that if you've never done this before, but hey, you can if you want to. You can also install a LTS kernel if that's important to you and how you work. Printer support and HP printing and it's gonna bring in the Budgie desktop. Do you wanna use the Grub bootloader or you can select no bootloader. Maybe you already have another system like you're gonna dual boot this with something else and it already has a bootloader so you don't need to install a different one. So they give you that option here. You can erase your disk, manually partition your disk. In this instance, we're going to erase the disk and we can set a swap partition and how we are going to format this partition. Do you want to use BTRFS or EXT4? They kind of keep it simple and encrypt the system. I'm going to leave it as defaults for now. I want you to set up a user, set up a password, let you know what, you, what you're about to do and install. So we'll go ahead and as soon as this install is finished, I'll bring you back in here and we'll take a look at Endeavor OS Gemini. Okay, so we've installed Endeavor OS with the budgie desktop environment and we are ready to rock and roll. You start with this welcome screen that is really great with tabbed information. This is where if you are interested in doing Arch Linux, this is a great way because they have minimal install of things. They give you simple scripts and helps and tools to manage your system, to get your system going and to educate you. You start right here in the after install. You just follow this 
path here. If you need to change your display resolution, you need to go ahead and update your mirrors. Go ahead and do that. You click that guy. And it makes sure that your mirrors are set. And it already shows since I'm in Vietnam right now, it goes, hey, that's where you need to be. Great. Thank you. It just suggested that I maybe add some option values, maybe add a couple more mirrors. And so I'm going to add Singapore and see if that will help as well. It rated and updated the mirror so that when you're getting packages or updates, this is going to help you out. It's done. You can save it. Boom. And then you can update your mirror specifically for Endeavor OS. That was specifically updating your mirrors for Arch. Now for Endeavor OS goes through, runs a simple script to make that happen for you. You go ahead and you can update your system right here. You just go through package cleanup configuration. You know, if you want to change your display manager, that's what you log into. It's set up right now for light DM for this budgie desktop environment. And you just go through and just keep making choices and get yourself set up right after install, which I just find just refreshing. You can click this download more uh, Endeavor OS wallpapers. You can get those wallpapers, install them here. If you don't want the wallpapers, you don't have to download it. You can just go right back to the default wallpaper if you want. And then I just really appreciate this. They also allow you to set the initial welcome tab. If you can see here, there are multiple tabs set here tips that you can use, setting up your NVIDIA card, um, Endeavor OS and ARM, firewall information. Um, you can go ahead and choose popular apps and install or go right to the AUR or Arch packages for you to have access to. I need to install these or download these wallpapers that have now pulled in and now I can check one. Let's say I want to use this one. And now that's it. It's just nice to have that there. This assistant here helps you update your system, update your mirrors, latest Arch news. Maybe there's something that's coming out or you need more information on Budgie. I love that. Some tips here on setting up. They typically don't set up Bluetooth by default in Endeavor OS. Let's see if they've changed that. That used to be the case. Yeah, so you still have to enable Bluetooth which is not a problem. You just open up your terminal and then you enable it. That way it'll always happen when you restart your system. They feel like we do not enable Bluetooth by default because of sec several security risks and to prevent unneeded power consumption. They started off with being disabled by default, but if you need it, they show you how to do it easily. It was two commands to set up and make sure you can have Bluetooth available on your system. So they have this installer here to be able to see what you want to install easily from their own quick start installer. So if you want an audio player, let's say you want to use Lollipop, you just check mark it, you click install now. I'm going to pull all this over here so you can see it a little better. It goes through, runs the script to install and you install it this way. It's very easy if you want to install it this way. But there's so much information right here for you to make sure you can get your system set up. I love this. There's this software news. Let's see what's up with this. They give information, which is great. There are some issues with the NVIDIA 550 driver. See this post. They had to remove the ARM installer from the next ISO. You know, just good information. If Wayland doesn't start properly, check your Bash profile right here. This is really nice information. So it's it's kind of nice to leave this welcome up. Normally, I would say don't show this to me anymore, but you might need to get better understanding of what's happening in the world of Endeavor OS. This is going to be really nice to use. Now, this budgie setup is... Uh, simplified. It looks like they've set this up to be laid out similarly to the way they had KDE set up in the live environment, which I think is smart for them to do. But if you want to make some adjustments here, you can. If you want to move the panel or add a panel or whatever you want to do, you can set that up here. No problem. 
add yourself a nice little dock down here and get your Mac layout on if you want. It's very simple. That's what I love about the Budgie desktop environment. As you can see here, there are not many applications installed. They really want to allow you to kind of define what that is, but they have plenty of applications for you to use. They didn't even install an Office Suite, which is perfectly fine. MPV is on here. Lollipop is what we installed right there. Now Lollipop is available which is a nice audio player. What I want you to note is the simplicity here, how they have things set up. They really don't want to make things too cumbersome for you. They don't want to add too many options for you, but they want to ensure you can get done what you want to get done in this operating system. If you're unsure what to install, they really don't provide for you a software center or like the Discover Software Center in KDE. They've really just left you alone to use either their, hey, we need, we know these are some popular apps for you to install, but when you're using Arch Linux or distributions like this, you need to use the terminal. So you get comfortable in the terminal and you just use the terminal. If you're installing a package from the AUR, which is a user repository for the Arch system, you can use the Yay helper tool, which is fine to use, yay-s. Aiden Live. And it goes through and installs with Pac Man. We just installed Caden Live. And this is what we installed. It's right here, ready to go. If you want to get comfortable using the terminal and want your hand to be held, <laughs> This is a really good distribution. This is where I spent a lot of my time. I used the KDE version when I used uh, Endeavor OS. So here is your information about what is here. You have kernel 6.9.2-arch1-1. I pulled up Btop, which is a nice way to monitor and overlook your system. This is not using much memory at all at idle. Looks like it's currently using 1.21 gigabytes and it's cached already because I've gone through and made some changes, which is nice for it to pull those things back up quickly. It also is showing the CPU usage, which is minimally using anything. <laughs> Endeavor OS Gemini is just a great iteration with a rolling release Arch-based distribution. I really think they know who is going to be using their operating system. The community is actually quite healthy and pretty large. And so if you have any questions, you can use that wonderful Endeavor OS community, which I've leaned on before. You can also use all the tools that they have set up for you. They've really tried to kind of just get you going there a little bit and feel comfortable and go, you, you need to use the terminal a little bit here, need to use the terminal. And you just learn to use it and it becomes second nature. And they don't tell you what you need to have. You don't need to, you know, use this office suite or this video player or whatever it is. It's just a nice, simple way to do it. And if you want some help installing some things to get started, they give you a graphical way to do it. If you need understanding of why something not there anymore or why something might not be working right, they try to give you resources. Use that software news that they have there for you to see regularly. You really get a nice sense of someone, a community who cares about a user trying to get comfortable in a system or a user who maybe just using their system and isn't tinkering a bunch and just might need to be filled in with some information, but you want that Arch-based system for your workflow for one reason or another. Endeavor OS Gemini is outstanding in my book, at least based on the walkthrough, and they are still holding to the core beliefs of when I was a regular Endeavor OS user. So I really love that. Let me know what you think about Endeavor OS. Is it something that you absolutely just love? Is it something you don't like? Do you like to install a vanilla base, arch based system yourself? What options do you like about it? Thank you for joining me today. Let's continue to do this Linux thing and I'll see you next time.